is polyvagal theory and how can it help your relationships? Let's start with the basics and talk about your nervous system. Your nervous system is your friend if you can learn to understand and modify it. So there's two parts. We've got your central nervous system, which is your brainstem and your spinal cord, and then your peripheral nervous system, which is everything else and is controlled by your ANS or your autonomic nervous system. And this is really responsible for unconscious actions going on within the body, right? Your heart rate, your respiration, and your digestion. And there's two parts to this system. You've probably heard fight, flight, or freeze, which is your sympathetic and parasympathetic systems coming online, right? These are responsible for energy or arousal states. Your ANS is really your environmental alert system telling you when to approach or avoid. So polyvagal what? The polyvagal theory really talks about uh, something in between these two systems, which is responsible from the vagus nerve. So it's this giant nerve that runs through your whole body. And polyvagal theory says that there's really this defense system hierarchy. So in between fight, flight, and freeze is the social engagement system. And this is when you are able to act calm, cool, collected, and basically engage with the environment. So think about being at a party and being able to interact with all the guests or being with a partner and being intimate, right? And then there's no threat happening. You're able to just be. So this nerve is important because it's like a control knob in a music lab, right? Basically, your body is adjusting all day, up and down, unconsciously, these states. And movement in and out of these states is dependent on levels of safety and threat. So think about if you got to work and you found out that you missed an important meeting. Well, you'd probably go into what we call dorsal vagal freeze, right? Out of your window of tolerance. Okay, but then maybe you head to the bathroom to be comforted by a coworker and you move into ventral vagal calm. You've gotten back into the social engagement system. So how can this help in your relationships? Well, first of all, understanding the social engagement system recognizes the need to feel safe in order to function in a partnership. The variability of this nerve allows interaction without feeling hyper aroused. So think of it like a break. Pressing or releasing, individuals can approach and avoid. Um, we can engage in self-regulation to maintain neutral behavior states. We know that conflict and fighting are a normal, natural part of relationships, but how you handle these situations is determined by your level of personal insight and willingness to commit to effective communication. So that sympathetic or that hyper aroused system, the fight or flight, only takes seconds to come online and about 10 to 20 minutes to adjust. So on the other side, the social engagement system takes milliseconds to adjust, but requires having safety first. So without understanding this process of arousal, it's easy to lose control and mindfulness in tough conversations. The first step in modifying these behaviors is awareness. So let's talk about how to create safety in your relationship. First of all, the perception of safety is what allows relationships to move towards social engagement or apart in defensiveness. The vagus nerve actually helps innervate the muscles of your face and your neck, as well as regulation of the inner ear. So everything that's happening with your face and voice is providing clues to your partner about whether to approach or avoid. So keep in mind that it's often more important how you say things rather than what you say. If you're starting to get hyper aroused and raise your voice, all your partner might be hearing is, I'm not safe, don't come near me. We are, as humans, uniquely receptive to low frequency sounds. So intonation really matters. If you're using the wrong intonation, you're, uh, neutral face can quickly turn into an angry face and safety's out the window. So make sure that you're paying attention and let's start to turn off these defenses and truly see and hear the truth. Uh, remember that safety always trumps fear. So what to do if your partner shuts down? They've moved into hypo arousal or the freeze state, they're dissociated and withdrawn. What do you do? Okay. 
So try saying something along the lines of, I see this is causing some uncomfortability. I'm gonna back off for a minute, but I'm right here. How do you feel after I said that? Lower your voice and talk more slowly. Remember the vagus nerve innervates the ear, so it's helping your partner filter out all the noise so they can just focus on your voice. Ask your partner what they might be feeling and be patient while they take the time to think. Don't demand engagement. You can also try engaging in conscious breathing. Put your heads together, your foreheads together, and take six deep breaths, focusing on the exhale. See if this brings your partner back up into the social engagement system. So what to do if your partner is up here? They're in the sympathetic arousal state. They're hyper aroused. Okay, their fight or flight, how to bring them back down. Well, first off, you can try that conscious breathing. It works both ways. Uh, try saying something like, I can see you're really stressed, huh? Name the emotion and wait. Recognize that your partner is feeling really threatened. Again, lower your voice. And try rubbing the right side of your neck and encourage your partner to do the same. The vagus nerve is stimulated by massaging certain parts of the body, one of them being your carotid sinus, which is on the right side of your neck. Strong vagal tone or, you know, learning how to activate this vagus nerve really increases levels of compassion and empathy, as well as assisting you with your own emotional regulation. So if you want to build your own vagal tone and you're not in these fight, flight or freeze scenarios, go for it. Here are some things to try. Splashing cold water in your face. Just try 30 seconds, maybe at the end of your shower. Cold stimulates the vagus nerve. Practice conscious breathing. Maybe you could take up meditation or yoga. You can try singing, humming, or gargling. And some of these you might already be doing unconsciously when you get in sticky situations, so look out for them. And socialize, laugh. Uh, research highlights that even reflecting on positive social interactions helps deeper vagal tone. And most importantly, keep in mind that everybody's nervous system is unique and that much of your responses are unconscious. So use your interoceptive abilities to start learning how to modulate your own automatic responses and then turn towards your partner. Secure functioning relationships require a major willingness to learn about one another. So never stop learning. Remember that people are not mind readers, but with a little help, you can use polyvagal theory to help control the knob on your nervous system.